Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make beams from plastic. And this technique is a good one if you really want to recycle plastic in bulk amounts, because a lot of plastic goes into one tube. Now we're going to use our extrusion machine with a little upgrade to make it, because this is a brand new technique. First we're going to make a mold, then I'll show you how to extrude the plastic. Then I'll show you a little bit more techniques and options that you could also do. And finally, how to upgrade the machine. But first we're going to make the mold, which is surprisingly easy. First thing is we're going to select our mold, which is just a basic metal tube. So you have a lot to choose from. You could make it round, square, flat. Doesn't really matter that much. We're going to go this time for a thick square tube. And we're going to make it three meter long. Now we got our mold ready and we're gonna use the extrusion machine to fill it up with some shredded plastic. So now we're extruding mixed colors of polypropylene and it looked like red was the dominating one so we're probably going to have a red bean but halfway I'm going to change the color so you can see what it does and what kind of gradient it gives but for now we just need to let the machine do its thing and wait until we have a beam. So once we take off the tube from the machine, we always cool it down in water because there's a lot of pressure inside so the plastic wants to float out. So once we cool it down, it gets solid and we just need to wait until this one is cooled down. <coughs> now it's time to unbox. So here we have our freshly extruded beam. As you can see from red slowly became white as we planned. Um, the beams themselves are quite flexible compared to wood or metal but still pretty sturdy. Um, and there are a lot of things you can do with these, these things but also play with the colors and the texture you can give it. But I'll show more about that in the next chapter. Yeah, the world of beams is pretty interesting. Now, you could just extrude a normal plain tube. However, if you put a little bit care and effort into this, you can get way more out of this technique. There are many things you can do with this beam technique. For instance, you can make them more round, like this one. And this is a big one, but you can also make them thinner, super smooth. Um, or use a completely different shape and play around with colors as well. Um, so here one is an even flatter one. 
which brings a whole new world of possibilities of what to make with it. And usually they come out with this little bit of a texture on it. They're not 100% smooth. But you can control this a little bit, like here, by adding a small wooden block inside your metal tube, which gives some friction. So the plastic wants to move forward, but is hold back a little bit by this wooden block, which makes a way smoother surface. But sometimes it's also just nice to have this texture. It looks like a completely new material. And you could also use conventional tooling to make it super smooth, like sanding or cutting. You could even drill the material super nicely. But we don't recommend doing this this much because this brings a new kind of waste to it, like all these little particles that you drill away. You can recycle them again, but it's cool if it comes out of the tube exactly how you want it. And playing with colors is also an interesting one. So for instance, here we have a tube with a gradient of color. So we started by adding some dark blue, lighter blue, green, lighter green to yellow and red. But here you can see the material flows pretty smooth from one to the other, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities to play with colors and paint your tubes, basically. And finally, you can also bend the material. So if you heat it up again, you could bend it into another shape you wanted to not have only straight tubes. So the material we mostly work with is polyethylene and polypropylene because the material has quite some shrinking. So if it's in the tube and it cools down, it shrinks so you can easily take it out. We also did some tests with polystyrene, which is nice. It's super hard. It almost doesn't bend and you can really finish it. However, this material shrinks less, so it can be a bit more difficult to get it out of the tube. All right, so these are a few things we've been playing around with. And we made some examples like a ladder or we've built this tower. But overall, there's still a lot more possible with this technique and a lot more to explore. But it's interesting because you can really construct and build with it and play a lot with colors and textures. Yeah, many things are possible when you start making beams from a tower, but also smaller pieces or furniture. Now, the beams are made using our extrusion machine, which you have seen in our videos on how to build your own extrusion machine. However, in order to make it work with this technique, it needs a little upgrade. So basically the main difference is, is that in the original one, we use this wood auger, which transports the material from one side to the other. It's heating up and molten, so it comes out liquid. However, this doesn't really build up any pressure. The material just flows out. But to extrude big beams, you need some compression. So we developed this extrusion screw where the chambers are bigger here, the gaps, and here they are smaller, so the material flows from one side to the other, but it's slowly getting compressed, so it builds up a lot of pressure. You can download the technical drawings of this screw yourself, so you can make it, or go to our online bazaar to see if you can get one. Oh, and special thanks to our community member Simon for making the technical drawing. Now, you could just swap this extrusion screw for the original one, and you're done. However, like I said, this thing builds a lot of pressure, which also means more force on your machines. So you want to do a few other things. You definitely need to increase the strength of your machine as well. Mainly the barrel holder needs to be reinforced. I would suggest to get a more powerful motor and make sure that the table or the plate it's on doesn't bend. So we installed underneath some metal tubes to make sure it stays flat. The rest can pretty much stay the same. So once you reinforce your machine and you can put in the screw, you're ready to extrude. One thing we like to do as well is change the nozzle for the exact same one as we use in our injection machine, because the thread on the end makes it easy to swap on and off molds. So if you're extruding beams, you can swap from one to the other to make sure it's a little bit quicker and you can set up a little production with that. All right, so that was our video on how to make a beam. This is a pretty new technique and we barely touched the surface of all the possibilities. I mean, if you even start thinking about what to make with beams from big construction items to smaller furniture, a lot of possible. If you have a question, feel free to post the topic in our forums. If you want to know more about how to upgrade the extrusion machine, go to our website where you can download all the information. And make sure to send us a picture of your extruded beam. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.